a semi-abandoned mall, lots of dark corners, <laughs> severely inept security. It's no wonder this place tops the list when it comes to favorite haunts for angsty teens. Especially when you're breaking in and setting up a projector for a late night scary movie fest. The sketch isn't all dark though. We'll shed light on all things retina, from its structure to the phototransduction cascade, the process of turning light into neural signals. As a quick review, the retina is the specialized neural tissue layer along the back wall of the eye. Photoreceptor cells in the retina transform light energy into electrical and chemical signals. These are relayed along the optic nerve to the brain, where the image can be interpreted. Within the retina, there are three regions where the concentrations of photoreceptors differ, notably from the rest. The macula, the fovea, and the blind spot. Let's take a closer look. Yeah, at least these delinquents have a good taste in movies. Tonight's feature film stars Dracula. <laughs> He's front and center on the screen to symbolize the macula, the area at the very center of the retina. The macula has the highest concentration of photoreceptors and, therefore, produces the sharpest, most detailed images. Like any good vampire, our Dracula has a healthy phobia of garlic. This phobia should help you remember the fovea. Now, the macula is smack dab in the middle of the retina, the fovea is smack dab in the middle of the macula. And since the fovea looks a heck of a lot like a dimple, we've placed the garlic right under Dracula's chin dimple to help you remember it. The only photoreceptors in the fovea are the type called cones, but it has a super high concentration of them, which gives the fovea the highest visual acuity in the eye. And I'm getting ahead of myself, more on cones later. Now, while the macula and the fovea are super rich with photoreceptors, there is one area of the retina that doesn't contain any, the blind spot. Okay, so bats aren't actually blind, but the saying blind as a bat and the way this bat is so dark against the disc of the moon is a pretty good reminder of the blind spot, or optic disc. The blind spot is where the optic nerve exits the back of the eye. 